In this video, I'm going to show the third and final technique to detect an object in an image and its position using a YOLO network. This uh, technique is almost exactly the same as the previous video recorded, which is in the references uh, in the description of this video. So I'm just going to show the difference in the technique. Uh, so it's equally convenient using a pre-trained convolution network that is adapted to the YOLO network and it could be a little bit more efficient as we show at the end of the video. Okay, so this is the, the example that I'm gonna do the walkthrough. I'm just gonna hit open live script to go there. Okay, uh, that take me here uh, where I uh, download the data. Uh, all the steps are almost exactly the same as the other video about region-based convolution in the references. Uh, it's gonna be the first link there. So I'm not going to go through this. I'm just going to run it offline and get to the point of difference. OK, I created the data stores uh, using the, the vehicle data, which has the information about a, a you can see it in here that the vehicle data set it has a, the images and also the bounding boxes for the training of the data. OK, and now uh, I'm going to combine them. And I'm going to take a sample of the training data, which is basically the cars and the bounding boxes. And one thing to notice, as mentioned in the other video as well, is that when you use uh, an existing pre-trained convolution network and adapt it uh, for a problem like this of object detection, uh, you need, you need uh, less data because the pre-trained network will have been trained with millions uh, of uh, images. And you just need maybe hundreds or thousands, or basically you need much less. And if you do data augmentation, you don't need as much images as well. So basically, you need a small adaptation to solve your problem. And this is convenient because you are not a, I mean, a company that has a petroleum mine of data. So this is something that individuals can do. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Okay, as in the other case, we create a temporary pre-processed data to get a, an estimate from the input training data. We're going to get an estimate of the anchor boxes, as in the case of the region convol based convolution. And we, want a an we need anchors as well. And this is basically, as mentioned in the other video, is expected sizes a, a vertical and horizontal and vertical sizes of the vehicle that are expected to be detected. These anchor boxes are used to create the YOLO network. Okay, and also uh, we're going to use uh, the same uh, pre trained network at ResNet. So if we see the, the other example uh, that uh, in the other video, uh, we are using the same uh, ResNet, the same layer, uh, using three anchor boxes, and we use these faster uh, RCNN layers to create the layers the network uh, for the region-based convolution, but in here we use in this YOLO version two layers, which basically takes also the anchor boxes, the pre-trained uh, convolution network, and also we are even using the same layer. So let's take a, a look at uh, how uh, this looks. Okay, let's run the command, and let's take a look at how the network looks. Okay, as in the other video, we're slicing in the same place, uh, which is uh, activation for irrelu, which is over here. But notice that after the slicing point, the region-based convolution was more, more, much more complicated. This one is using plain convolution, batch, relu, convolution, but uh, they are with the prefix YOLO. Uh, so there are special, special YOLO layers. And finally, we have a special YOLO class, uh, classification and basically the output is going to be the bounding boxes. OK. OK, so now let's train the network. OK, uh, so we are going to do data augmentation as in the other video, but the augmentation is basically the same. It's flipping horizontally and doing the same that we do in the image, doing it in the bounding box as well. But uh, there's a slight difference. We are doing this jitter color is some type of a contrast change, uh, some quality of the image change. 
if you look at the other example, uh, the the augmentation of the data just had X reflection, uh, horizontal reflection. So maybe uh, this augmentation in the data here that the other one doesn't have made it a little bit more efficient. I'm not clearly, uh, I'm not 100% sure if it is that the YOLO is more efficient than the region-based convolution or just this data augmentation made it better. I'm not sure about that. Okay, so let's do the data augmentation and take a, as we did in the other example, take a sample of four images to see how it looks. And you will see that the contrast of the, not only is flipping it horizontally, the augmentation, but also is changing the contrast. Okay, now finally, let's train the network. They are very similar. Uh, the options, training options are very similar. Uh, we're using a validation data as well. And then uh, the training command, uh, it is train YOLO v2 object detector. It takes the training data, which is the data store uh, that we have for this, that has the data augmentation, the preprocessing to reshape the image to the size that the, the network expects. We have the YOLO layers well, that we created above in here and we have the training options and that's going to give us our train network so let's uh, run it and uh, let's take a look at the previous example uh, the command used to train the region based convolution was a little bit different i'm going to show the difference it's right here uh, notice it's the same it takes the training data the graph uh, for the region based convolution graph and the options, but it also takes these arguments uh, for the overlap. I did not show that in the YOLO command, and the output is going to be the same, the train detector. Okay, so you can see here uh, that the loss uh, starts very high. Eventually, it's going to drop significantly fast. Uh, but another thing that I noticed between the YOLO training and the region convolution, phase convolution is that the region-based convolution was consistently using about 7% of the GPU while this most of the time is below 1% usage of the GPU sometimes it gets to 3% as you saw in there but it's very rare so it seems that the training for the region based convolution uh, might be faster because it's leveraging better the GPU okay so it dropped quickly from 70% loss mini batch loss to less than 1% which is good but I'm not gonna run this I'm just basically gonna use the pre-trained one I mean uh, it's basically the same this gives, gives us the same but uh, the example doesn't want us to go through a 20 30 minutes of training so let's take a look and try it out with an image uh, just pass the image to the detector again uh, this is a method of the detector it should be seen like this so we, we, to, to, we uh, the detector has a detect method that takes an image and gives you the bounding boxes to tell you where the cars are and the confidence. So this is where the car is and 57% confidence. So let's visualize it. Okay. So yeah, uh, it's really a car, so you should have higher confidence. But let's evaluate with the whole data, with the whole test data, which is not biased by the training. So uh, let's get the data store for the training data okay so this is the transform data store that is going to do preprocessing to reshape the images to the expected size and again this detect is a method of detector that is going to take the data store and return you the results and then the results are compared against the expected values of the test data and this, this method evaluate detection precision is going to give us the precision information and we're going to see 77% which is higher than the previous region based convolution and this is the chart of precision and recall and we can see that even this looks better because we, we can pick, pick this as the balance so at this point we have more than 95% precision while having close to 80% of recall this is much better than we had in the other example but again Hey, I'm not sure if this is because the YOLO network is better or because it was doing, doing better data augmentation. Okay, uh, so just to wrap up, uh, in this example, we created a YOLO network using a pre-trained uh, rested convolutional network. And we find uh, it is quite convenient. We can basically train uh, this YOLO network to detect 
particular objects and where they are with uh, a short amount of data, uh, which is very good for practical uh, non-company uh, problems. Thank you very much uh, for watching.